Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So the other day I posted a short video of me making dowels with a dowel maker that I use all the time. It's just something simple you can whip up on the drill press in about two or three minutes. Well, I've never posted a video about it because Matthias Wandel did a video, something very similar to this a couple of years ago. Now the way I do it is a little different and I had quite a few people over on social media ask me to show the video, so I'm gonna do it. I'll also post a video to Matthias Wandel's so if you wanna check that out, that way you can kinda you know, see some of the differences between how I do it and how he does it. But the results are, are pretty slick with this. It only takes a couple minutes to build, so I figured why not I throw it up there. Let's uh, do that thing. Okay, so for my dowel jig, I'm just gonna use a piece of yellow pine. Uh, this actually came out of a two by eight, and I'm gonna drill, the, I wanna make three quarter inch dowels, so I'm gonna actually start by drilling a three quarter inch hole all the way through this piece of two by eight. So the next thing I want to do is create a countersink or a taper on this hole, or I guess you would want to call it a chamfered edge. Now I have a countersink that I can do that with. You could use a 45 degree router bit with a 3 8 bearing on it, stick it in there and do it, or you can just freehand it with a knife or even use a Dremel tool to create that chamfer. I get asked about these bits a lot. They're relatively inexpensive. I got a set of four of these for about 20 bucks on Amazon. And uh, I'll put a link in the description box below for those of you who've been asking about them. So the next thing I want to do is cut with my table saw up to this line here, a little bit past it. And what I would like to do is just barely nick the top of this so the, the table saw blade cuts that and it's a little bit open. Okay, so to mount the chisel, what I want to do is have a leading edge coming off the face of the uh, dowel maker, and then I want a pretty steep angle, and then where the hole meets the chamfer, I, that's about where I want this to be in the center. Now I can I move this back and forth a little bit to adjust the size of the dowel. If the dowel is too big or too, uh, too small, I can pull this backward to make it bigger and push it forward to make it smaller. So I'm going to start by eyeballing it. That looks like it's about center. I've cut a little notch out here so I can get my clamp in here. Now when I start this, I've, I've sanded a little bit of a point down. When I start it, I want to start low, kind of work my way up into it. And you can see I've knocked all the edges off of this uh, piece of cherry that I'm cutting. And I've got this as close as I can get it or as I'm comfortable as getting it to the final dimension. Now if you can keep a nice ray straight through there, you can almost, you can see the shine on that. Uh, you get a really nice clean cut this way. You know, you can see towards the back side there, I jumped a little bit, but if you can keep a nice steady uh, push through it, you'll get a really nice looking dowel. Yeah, that's about a 64th off. So if I want it to be a little bit smaller, I'll just smidge that forward. But a 64th off is something I can live with. That'll still fit very nicely into a three quarter inch hole. And it'll be nice and tight. Not too shabby. So that is a pretty quick way of making a whole bunch of dowels. Now I've done this on dowels all the way up to about an inch and a half in diameter and it works really well. A couple of quick key things, keep the chisels really sharp and also when you're milling up the material to run it through the dowel maker, get it as close to the final dimension as possible. Those two things will give you really, really, really great results. Really good results. A couple quick things while I got you guys here. I get asked a lot about the t-shirts I wear. Um, I, I wear funny t-shirts, that's kind of a thing of mine. I, I get all of them off of Amazon, so from now on, if you see a funny t-shirt that I'm wearing and you like, you'll find an affiliate link down below. 
and you can get one of your own. And I will mention uh, for the big guys, I only get t-shirts that go up to like 5XL because I don't wear no little shirts. So if you uh, see something you like, check it out. Also, I'll put a link down below for those countersink bits. I get asked about these all the time. I've talked about them before. Uh, really handy to have, especially if you've already drilled a hole and you need a nice clean countersink in a pre-existing hole, they'll do a really nice job. So again, links below. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.